All right, it's almost time to go to the film festival. It's early morning, so let's go and see what's happening at the Sundance Film Festival, Park City, Utah. These workers are packing up something in a big truck. They're all done with what they're doing. It's day six of the film festival. Park City was a mining town. It was the home of the Ontario Silver Mine, which operated from 1872 to 1964. The man behind it was George Hurst. There it is, the Egyptian Theater, famous downtown Main Street, Park City, Utah. I'm gonna be going in there in a couple hours to watch a documentary called Willie Nelson and Family. But right now, it's not time to go yet. I'm out on the street looking around, and it's a very interesting town, a lot of art galleries, and there's this little store there that sells only socks, all kinds of interesting stuff. Right now, I'm just down the street from the Egyptian Theater. It's about two and a half hours until the movie starts. So I just went and got myself a nice cup of hot cocoa. I'm gonna relax in here a little bit. And it's a beautiful day. I'm looking out the window and up on the mountain. When I got here, the sun wasn't up yet. And now the sun is shining on the mountain and I can see ski tracks. People have been skiing right up there, just right behind Main Street. So there we are. And this is a little place called Java Cow. It's a little gift shop and coffee shop. And they have a claim to fame that Banksy was here and got himself a coffee in 2010. And the film festival has been in Park City since 1981. The name originally was the Utah U.S. Film Festival. It started in Salt Lake City and it changed the name in 1984 to the Sundance Film Festival. All right, we're outside the Egyptian Theater, and who do we have here? We have a volunteer. Please introduce yourself. Yeah, my name is Richard Thorum. I go by Rick. And uh, I've been here 11 years. Uh, I was actually here for the first one when Robert Redford was here, and uh, it's uh, been a nice uh, experience for me. I enjoy it every year. Uh, we deal mostly with the public. I'm a crowd liaison, so I load, quote unquote, and unload the house. And uh, the theater is what we call a house. And when we load the house, we take the ticket holders in and then wait list people. So during the first few days of Sundance every year, uh, all of our houses are full. Right now, it's getting a little uh, slow and uh, a lot of people have left, especially the stars. Usually the stars come the first few days. But uh, there's still some excitement in the air. We're still showing movies and we'll be doing that until I believe Sunday. We're outside of the Egyptian Theater and who do we have to talk to today? I'm Steve Barwin, I'm from Cornwall, New York. I'm here in town with a bunch of buddies here on a ski and snowboarding guys weekend and it's a great time to do that because it's Sundance so the slopes are, are, uh, are free and uh, uh, I'm not a skier so I'm here checking out the scene. I've been here about two minutes uh, so uh, hoping to score some last second tickets. After we did our interview, Rick said there was something that he would like to add. So here you go, Rick, let me know. Is a rolling bob? <laughs> We're going to leave the car there. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the other day uh, we had a problem with one of the movies here. Actually, it was a, a panel discussion. And uh, the public was waiting out here for an hour in the snow and the cold. And I was impressed because I didn't get one complaint from them. And, uh, Again, they were uh, standing out here. They should have been inside the movie theater, but they were out here. So that was one thing I wanted to add, is that the, uh, the people up here at the Egyptian Theater, uh, our patrons are really strong. They have to stand out in the cold. But uh, over the 11 years I've worked here, I haven't really heard that many complaints. Uh, a little thing that I wanted to add was, you know, unfortunately with the mass shootings, which breaks my heart, uh, really breaks my heart, especially when children are killed in a schoolroom, for God's sakes. I mean, can we get our act together, please? Can we just do something? And uh, Sundance, uh, Mr. Redford, anybody, l let's do some uh, uh, documentaries on that. Let's speak out. You know, we have a platform here. We talk about gender equality. Uh, for God's sakes, let's talk about guns. 
My name is George Zinn, and I'm from Salt Lake City, Utah. I'm a Ute fan. Go Utes. The, this is my kind of, probably my 20th, give or take, of Sundance Film Festival, and uh, I've had a marvelous time. I'm a little bit disappointed we don't have the outcome this year, but you know, I've just seen a lot of change in in people that want to see movies and filmgoers and filmmakers. I think the I think the industry is is uh, got some issues and suffering, but. I, you know, I hope it picks up again because Sundance is just a wonderful showcase for for every movie, for all the movies that uh, I've seen good, bad, and everything in between. Yeah, so far I've really enjoyed Park City. It's got that real kind of uh, artsy, ski town kind of uh, vibe to it. And somebody told me that they're trying to make this into an artist colony where there's lots of theaters and people that create films. So that sounds pretty exciting to me. Thanks a lot for watching my video. There'll be more videos in the future. Okay, now. Oh, he's recording all over.